and welcome back to this series in making a Pac-Man game in Scratch 3. In this video I'm going to show you how to add little dots or pellets for Pac-Man to eat as he goes around uh, the maze. So to begin creating the dots for Pac-Man to eat, the first thing we're going to do uh, is create a new sprite. One for our dot. And we're just going to make one to start with. So we're going to go to the new sprite uh, and paint a sprite area. And it doesn't matter if you're working in vector mode or bitmap mode for this, um, but you just simply need to draw um, any colour you like. Uh, I'm not going to have a little background for it, but I'm just going to draw a box that is a little dot. Uh, centrally to my sprite, just a little dot. Um, now it's relatively large, but we can always make it smaller by changing the size in the sprite area here. So maybe sort of 25% that size. Um, I might make it a little bit larger just so it's a bit easier to click and drag and move around within my game. So that's all you need to do. You can obviously design yours to be any shape, color you like. We need to add um, a name for this sprite. So I'm just gonna call it uh, dot. And let's add some code now in order to um, make Pac-Man sort of react to these dots. So we're ultimately gonna have lots of these dots and um, we need a way of making the game be able to tell all the dots. Let's say we've got 100 dots. We need to be able to tell all the dots to appear when the game begins because as um, Pac-Man hits them, they're going to disappear and we need some code to make them reappear at the right time. So uh, we're going to make the first changes then to the backdrop of the game. And we're going to go to the code area. Now the backdrop of the game is a bit like the sort of controller. It's always present. So any code that relates to the whole game, not one particular area, but the whole game, um, it's a good place to put that code. And in here we're going to uh, do an when green flag is clicked. And um, we're going to broadcast a message. And that message is going to be, so if I make a new message, it's going to be show dots. So when the game begins by pressing the green flag, we're going to send a message out to the whole game that says show dots. And when each of our dots then receives that message, we can make those dots appear. I'm also going to want to keep track of how many dots I've got in use at any one time. So to do that, I'm going to need or, or how many dots are still available on the screen. Uh, and that's because when all the dots have been eaten, I want to be able to move on to the next level. So to do that, I'm going to need a new variable. So I'm going to go to variables here and I'm going to make a variable and that variable's name is going to be dots remaining. Okay, press OK and I'm going to, I'm still on my backdrop here. So the backdrop's code, when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to set dots remaining to zero. So when the game begins, there are no dots uh, remaining. Okay, which you'll think is a bit odd because there's one here, but don't worry about that just for now. And now I'm going to add the code for the dot itself. So that's all you need to do on the background. Okay, so let's go to a dot, the dot we've created, and let's add some code to appear when we receive the show, um, when I receive show dots message. So when I receive show dots, I want my dot to show because it might be hiding. So I'm going to go to looks and show. And I also want to change the value of dots remaining. So if I go back to variables here, change dots remaining by one. I'm gonna drop that in here. So what this is saying is when um, we press the green flag, we're gonna broadcast show dots, at which point there could be a hundred of these dots all get that message and they're all going to change dots remaining by one. So if there were a hundred, then dots remaining would be 100, i.e. this is how we're going to make sure that dots remaining is set to the right number of dots. Uh, then we show, and then we need to set up a loop. We're gonna use a forever loop that's constantly checking if that dot is touching Pac-Man. And if it is, the dot needs to hide. We need to reduce the numbers of dots remaining. And um, we're going to broadcast another message which says dot eaten. And that's going to be used later in our game to um, to check if, hey, are there any dots left? And if not, then it's game over or we've completed the level. So let's add that code. So we're gonna to go to um, control, forever. Okay, and inside the forever loop, I'm gonna put an if. And I'm gonna say if I'm touching, so that's a sensing option. If I'm touching 
my Pac-Man sprite, then I want to hide. So I go to looks and hide. And then I want to change dots remaining by minus one. So that's variables, change dots remaining by minus one, i.e. we're going to reduce that total. Okay, and I'm also going to broadcast uh, a new message, which is dot, oops, dot eaten. Okay, and then finally, I'm actually gonna stop this script because there's no point checking if I'm touching Pac-Man anymore. We can end this forever loop. Um, so I'm going to just go to stop, which is under uh, control, stop, but I change it from stop all to stop this script and I put that in there as well. Otherwise this forever loop will keep going on and that will happen for all of the um, hundreds of dots you've got. They'll all be continuously forever in a forever loop which will cause your game to run a bit more slowly. And then finally I'm going to add another when I receive hide dots because there might be times, let's say you hit one of your killer ghosts and you want to show a game over screen and you want all the dots to disappear at the same time. We need a when I receive hide dots. So let's go to events, when I receive new message, hide dots. And all I want to happen is, is uh, if we do that, I just want to hide, okay? And it's just important that we put that in now because when I duplicate this for however many dots I'm going to have, um, I don't want to have to add that code over and over and over again. I just want to do it once at the beginning and then it will be present for all of my other dots as they come. So let's just see if this works. If I press the green flag, uh, you can see it says dots remaining is one. And if I go and touch that dot, it disappeared and dots remaining is now zero. So that's working. So now all we need to do is duplicate these dots. So let's right click duplicate and you'll see I've got one there now. Um, right click duplicate and now I've got one here. Right click duplicate and so on. And I'll just put a few there and let's just test they work. So green flag, I've got four, one, two, three, four. So let's try eating those, one, two, three, four, all gone and dots remaining is zero. So that worked pretty well. So if I just start up again, there's my dots. And really what I need to do now is just right click and duplicate on all of these dots to place them at various places around my maze uh, until I filled the whole place up uh, with little pellets for Pac-Man to eat. So let's just do that now. And it's worth, before you do too many, just making sure again that it's working correctly. So if I, if I now click my green flag, I've got 21. And as I eat them all, that should again go down to zero, uh, just to make sure that you haven't made any mistakes along the way before you do too many. There we go, so it's, I've got them all, which is fantastic. So I'm now gonna continue adding more dots to my game. So I've added all my dots, and now it's time just to check one last time that they work correctly. So all I'm gonna do is just make sure I can go all the way around the board, um, eating all of the dots and having that score go down to zero. Uh, now, I feel like this is gonna work because I've been testing as I've been going along. Um, so I tested after about five, then about 10, then 20, uh, and then finally I decided I was confident enough to put all of the rest on. Uh, notice that my blocks are all quite well spread out. I haven't got any that overlap each other. As I was adding blocks, um, I was finding that one or two were being placed, uh, well they're always being placed in random locations, but some were harder to find than others because they were being placed by scratch almost exactly on top of some um, existing uh, blocks and that can cause problems. So we need to make sure that we do it one at a time finding and moving every um, block into a unique place that isn't too close together. And here we go, the last run and we're done and it's hit zero and that's fantastic. So you need to go and do the same for yours and then what we'll do in the next video is add a level complete screen um, that we can show once all of the dots have been eaten.